And welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just put a short video together today, just running through a braking system fault. It's quite a common issue on this 2017 Audi A5. Now, first thing I'll do is just put the ignition on to show you the warning message that we've got that's pinging up on this one. I'll just put the ignition on to stage two. I'll start it up, it doesn't matter. It has got a few messages on this one because it's due a service as well. Uh, but actually came in for an MOT with all these messages on. But the main one we're looking at should just come on in a minute. Because the lorry ain't come up yet, we'll just start it up, see if that makes a difference. It does normally come on with the ignition on as well. There you go, brake, ser brake servo restricted. Sometimes it comes up with just a braking error. So um, with it as well, the start stop fault is coming on. So um, start with, I'm just gonna put the scanner on it. I'll just show you, we've got the, the top down diagnostic machine, but we'll plug that on. We'll do a full diagnostic scan and just show you what faults we've got on there. So uh, we have had two issues with this one. But I'll just run you through all that step at a time anyway. Uh, just before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, just click on the red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. You can see now, with, just with the ignition on, that message has just come up there. So we've got the top down machine set up, ready to do a full scan. We'll just run through that. We'll just speed through this as we do it, and then run through the codes that we've got on there. Right, so we've done the full scan now. I'll just explain quickly as well. Um, this has had two faults with it, one of which we've rectified at the minute, but we're just left with another fault on there. Basically, when it first come in, one of the other error messages that we had on there was the um, the flat tyre indication was on the tyre pressure warning light. And there was faults in nearly every single ECU with communica communication issues between every ECU and the ABS ECU. Now, that was relating to the actual ABS pump itself, um, which... ECU testing, I've actually got a video, I'll put a link to that in the description below for a repair that they do on the pump. So we've actually sent the pump for repair, that's been repaired, but we're left with one more issue which is actually quite common and it's probably worth just checking into this and just trying it first because sometimes you can get some of these same error messages for this pressure fault that we're going to be replacing, the sensor that we're going to be replacing um, relating to that, which might, it could actually be one or the other, so but we've got both playing up on this one. Now, if we just look in there, we've got fault in the engine control module, a couple of signal faults in there, ESP, so it's, 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 it's got an um, invalid signal from a sensor, and then we've got invalid data from the ABS module, so that's in the engine ECU, and then faults in the ABS module. Now, I've been playing about with the sensor, and I can't get the, the code to come up that I actually wanted to come up that's been coming in quite a few times. It has actually had a, a brake boost code in there as well which i'll put the fault code to that i'll just list that over the video so you can see it but at the minute we've got these faults in there which are relating to the same thing again basically we've got brake assist vacuum too low and vacuum sensor a which is actually relate relating to the brake booster the brake boost sensor now i've got a new sensor a new genuine volkswagen one if you check the links in the description below, I'll put links to the sensor and where you can get them from. Um, but we'll just get under the bonnet now. I'll show you where the sensor's located, how to replace it. We're just going to get the sensor fitted and then just run through clearing the codes and just showing you that it's definitely fixed the fault. So um, I might just try and do a little test on the sensor between the new and the old one just to see if I can sort of show you how to maybe test that and see if there's any differences there as well you might be able to check before replacing it but if you have got all these issues and maybe some communication ones it's probably worth trying this sensor before going down the abs module route so so we'll just get under the bonnet now and just show you where that's located right it's just coming under the bonnet we've just come to the back we've got a little flap here and just underneath that we've got the brake fluid reservoir and just down there this is the brake boost sensor there i'll just show you i've just got a little tab there so to flick that tab back, and then you should just work that back a little bit. You should be able to just pinch it down and pull the connector off. And once you've got the connector off, you just simply just try and get the camera in there. 
just a little clip. Let's try to focus on it. Basically, just a little clip either side. Can't focus on it. Either side of the sensor, and you just need to gently flick them back, pry one side up at a time to get it out. So, See, that's released a bit of pressure as we took it off. And there's the two little tabs that are just holding it on either side. As you can see, quite easy to get out. I'm just going to see if we can just do a couple of checks on that, see if I can show you, um, pick up any faults with it just with the multimeter before we just put, fit the new one into place. Just to show you where we're under the bonnet, this is the ABS pump. Um, we say it's quite a common issue to the same code as well. Some of the other communication codes there. So we've had that one sent to ECU testing. I'll put a link to their site in the description as well. It's quite straightforward to replace, as you can see, it's really easy to access. All you need to do is just undo all the six pipes, undo the main connector, and just simply take that off and send it away then. So um, that's all been repaired now, refitted. The worst sort of job, replacing ABS pump, is just bleeding it up after. It just takes quite a bit of time, that's all. So. Um, but that's all refitted, brakes are all bled back up now. We're just left with this fault with the, the sensor there. So, so I'll just run you through, I'm just going to try them a few tests quick, just see if I can prove anything at fault before we replace it. Right, so just going through the wiring diagrams, I couldn't actually find the right diagram for the sensor, so I'm not really able to actually carry out any tests, so I'm just going to fit the new sensor and just run you through, clearing all the codes and making sure it definitely fixes the fault. Just if I could have put, got some accurate information on there, it would have been just nice to show you just testing the old sensor to prove the fault as well, but if I do get any diagrams and I can put, um, put links to them in the description below, I will do, um, just to show you with the old sensor, the pin numbers, if you just look on the inside of the plug there, you can just see we've got them right at the back there. Number one on the left, two in the middle, and three on the right hand side there with the sensor in that position there. So um, we'll just go back outside now, fit the new sensor, and just run through clearing the codes. So that's a new sensor fitted there. So you're fairly straightforward to to, uh, to clip in. Just a little bit awkward. There's not a lot of room down here, but it's easy enough to do. And once you've got the connector on, just push that grey tab back in there. So, so once that's in, the connector's locked into place. So I'm just clear the codes now. Just give it a quick run. So just got all the codes cleared now. I'm just going to strike it up to go back and do another scan, make sure it's cleared them. If it has, we'll give it a decent road test and then just double check it again after that.
Oh, so that's done the full code scan there. As you can see, I just struck it up. And um, before, every time you put the ignition on, definitely if you struck it up, even for a few seconds, it would always put that error straight back into the ABS CCU and the communication one with the engine ECU. Um, but both of them ECUs have stayed clean now. We have got a fault in this ECU up there. It's just something to do with the passenger door electronics. So um, we're not too worried about that. Um, what we're going to do now is just simply give it a quick road test. Then we'll just... just um, come back do another quick scan and just show you after that it's definitely fixed the fault um but yeah it looks like all it's relating to really is this brake boost pressure sensor so so to say from a bit of research that i've done and uh, a few other people that i've spoke to that have had issues with these it seems to be that you can have just the issue with this um but the actual abs pump is a really common issue as well so um, but yeah, if you want to check out the links in the description below i'll put links to these sensors this is a genuine audi one where you can get that from and i'll put the links to ecu testing as well because it was quite a fair price on a rebuild i think if you've got a new abs pump from audi it's a couple of grand area plus that so i think you're two two and a half grand for an abs ecu so uh, but with a repaired unit you can just simply take it off send it away just refit it and you don't need to worry about keratin or anything like that whereas if you get a new pump it's got to be keratin so um, but we'll just give this a decent run now and just say that it's definitely fixed the fault after we've done a few miles as well Uh, so we've just got back from a decent road test. We've got no uh, brake messages or start-stop messages pinging up now. Uh, the only message we've got on there is the service one. I'll just show you if we start that up now. And um, when this initially come in, so the main issue that we actually had with the ABS pump fault, um, all them brake issues were on there, but we had the tire light on permanently as well. And the scanner was picking up uh, faults with the tire pressure monitoring system it said it was saying that all the tires were flat and as i said before every single ecu didn't have communication with the abs ecu so there was a, there was faults in every single ecu now we've got back we've got clean pretty much a clean bill of health there other than just that fault in the door module there that's also and see no other warnings coming up now and um, just need servicing now it's just we wanted to make sure that we fix this braking fault before we go on to do the service and mot that's all and uh, needed the the brake issue sorted for the mot anyway so but yeah just thought i'd put the video together in case anyone had this issue with theirs but thanks for watching and we'll see you next time